There's a new set of witches. A new view of human nature. You do have a soul, it's called your gender. Um, you're the god, you can change your body however you like. Forget what they say about chromosomes and whatnot. You can reshape your body, you are who you say you are. Drugs and surgery are gender affirming. Preventing drugs and surgery is conversion therapy and we have a new set of witches. Social media plays a role. Look at that. Jonathan Haidt is absolutely right. Anybody that's been reading Jonathan Haidt knows that he's won this argument. You got it, John. Stop. You've convinced everybody. You've made us all anxious. We feel like, oh my God, everybody's watching me. Everyone can see me. It's Foucault's Panopticon. It's on your phone. Everybody can see. I'm a, I'm, they can see I might be a bad person. I better get on the side of the bullies to protect myself. I better participate in the attacks on the witches, or I might be victimized. Anxiety, anxiety. We see the rise of cluster B personality disorders, which are described as four different manifestations. Some people think there's just a single, doesn't matter. DSM, antisocial, borderline, histrionic, narcissistic. I'm not diagnosing anybody. That's not what I'm about to do. But you see the behaviors and they, they're recognizable to you. The greatest scholar of narcissism, Sam Vaknin, says, I'm, he says, I'm a narcissist, so take my word for it. Listen to me. <laughs> and Sam is brilliant. Certain people are prone to adopt victimhood as an identity. Victimhood endows their life with meaning. You know this type of person. They would be victims even in situations where they've not been victimized. They want to be victimized. Look at me, I'm a victim. I have higher moral status than you because of it. So entitlement, grandiosity, I'm entitled to tell you what to do because I'm more of a victim than you. Splitting, you're either with me or you're against me. I need the attention, give it to me. Impaired reality, lack of empathy for oppressors, excessive empathy for victims. It's very dangerous if you're a perennial victim. This is your identity. You would tend to develop attendant behaviors. If you don't get special treatment, you'll become aggressive. You know what these folks are like. You feel like you're walking on eggshells around them. You're anxious around them. Splitting. Everyone says there is no black and white issue, said Greta Thunberg, but I think this is. Either we go on in civilization or we don't. We must stop using fossil fuels right now or you're a bad person. The infiltration of narcissists and psychopaths is universal in all these victimhood movements. They become the public face of the movement. If you're going to go and celebrate your status by not wearing a mask and wearing a beautiful ball gown, and everyone else is wearing masks, then you better explain that, and you better explain why you're demanding that children wear masks in schools. What would lead otherwise decent people, I have no doubt that the people with their fists upheld are, I no doubt that they are empathic people, caring people, they care more. What would lead them to do this? to raise their fists above this young woman who later said in a Washington Post op-ed that she attended Black Lives Matter protests. She supports police reform. She just didn't think that she should have to raise her fists against a mob, that that's not what she understood the First Amendment in America to be about. If an individual in a position of political power is a psychopath, he or she can create an epidemic of psychopathology and people who are not essentially psychopathic, they're not psychopaths. They're behaving like psychopaths create a culture of cluster B personality disorders. These are not the signs that people want to censor. They want to censor other people's signs, the signs that say respect trans people or your pronouns will be was, were. That's a death threat. That poster just went up in Britain today. The potential for aggression and victimhood movements is much larger than in the general population. Anything that is grievance-based leads to violence and death. These boots stomp turfs. If you start talking about a genocide against you and your folks, and there's no genocide, be very careful around these folks. That's dangerous, because if you think a genocide is being perpetuated against your people, then almost anything is justified. This is antisocial personalities, personality behaviors these kinds of things, assaulting somebody for what they said. It's narcissism. Pay attention to me. I threw soup on a Van Gogh painting. In the 1950s, these courageous 
students had milkshakes poured on their heads in order to be able to sit peacefully at a lunch counter in the South. Now they throw soup on the painting and they want to be famous. That's different motivations. That's not the same thing. Histrionic. My future's coming to an end. It's desperate. It must happen now. It's tempting to wonder, is it all coming to an end? Is this it? It's pretty dark. I never said it was going to be an uplifting speech. 